I love it. I ended up talking to the lady, imagine that, forever. Um, my poor dad has to work so early in the morning, but um, she was a lot like-minded, so that was really fun. Um, but I told her if we ever do shows, like get into show goats, that we will definitely get some information from her because she definitely knew what she was talking about. And Daisy. The big white goat has acted funny the last couple of days. I dusted her down with some DE, so that's why she looks that way. The coloration. And then, where's that other dude? One of these babies got out. Oh, there he is, trying to nurse. <laughs> that it's not its mama, but look how good. I wish she was younger and in better, like, health, because she is the most amazing mother she has literally let that is the white one is her baby but she's letting these two pretend and we're trying to bottle raise them but they are doing so good i need to fill that bucket up that's out of water but i gotta go do that and then it's good night for all of us you guys i am exhausted but i am super excited the got a few people interested in some of our milk and then of course we use it for whew, for um, our soaps and it's just really exciting and I'm really excited to have Toggenbergs. They're my favorite. Um, I am like wound up. That Red Bull I had on the way probably didn't help but anyway I am super excited. I can't wait to show you all tomorrow. I'm gonna like rig up a little bit of a fence like I did right after we had some of these baby goats and I don't know y'all pray that this works out. The last two times didn't but I have faith that this is going to work. Actually, two times before didn't. One was a success. Faith was a success. But 
Anyway, I guess you live and learn. If these goats don't work out, I'm never buying goats again. <laughs> Well, I've milked these girls. They are definitely used to a machine. <laughs> so that was fun. It was like breaking jaw or breaking uh, faith. Anybody, was anybody around here for those videos? Cause that was wild. See how she's got waddles. This is Meg. And this one is Twyla, and she does not have waddles. And let's see, Twyla was the easiest girl. <laughs> She's a good girl. Meg here has a spunky personality. And her udder, see how her teats are so um, Meg's Teats are a little bit smaller, even than um, our other goat, um, Java, who's also a Toggenberg. I'm, I'd be interested to get the three Toggenbergs together because Java is just kind of short and stocky compared to these. Um, definitely, they're, I mean, they're all three registered, but anyway, it's pretty exciting to have more Toggenbergs. Honestly, I really love this breed. Um, anyway, so Meg was harder to milk. Her teats are just smaller, so... It just was a little bit more difficult on the milk machine you know it's no big deal because it just sections how it needs to but hand milking was a little different so hopefully that works out because i don't have a milk machine and i don't have the money for a milk machine so if anybody has a goat milker <laughs> that we could test out maybe um meg gave about a half a gallon this morning almost and twyla definitely gave a half a gallon um, so between all four of my goats, this girl got a gallon and a quart today. <laughs> Does anybody need any goat's milk? Because I am pretty excited about it. There for a while, uh, we were making cheese and milking and doing the soaps and, or drinking the milk is what I meant to say. But anyway. So, anyway, we are excited. We're going to try to start making cheese again. Um, maybe I'll try to perfect that, especially if I'm having so much during, you know, the week. Because goats, goat's cheese is kind of um, the thing right now. Everybody loves it. I don't like store-bought, but I have made cheese before and really loved ours. I've made cottage cheese. Um, I just threw away my kefir grains, which was probably really dumb, but... I'll have to just reorder those um, because we like yogurt and kefir is really good for you. It is a probiotic as well. So, um, yeah. Anyway, all right. I'm done rambling. I'm excited about these girls. It was a rodeo this morning, but it was fun. And I think it'll just take them a couple of days to get used to it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't think they're used to chickens. They were definitely uh, kept in a barn and raised as show goats. They have a totally different lifestyle there than we do here. So we're hoping that they adjust. So we're just kind of keeping them in here for a few days. Um, we've got Daisy, our, old, our older goat, and then some babies we're bottle raising on that side. So for today and the next couple of days, they'll probably just stay on this side. Oh my goodness, aren't they just beautiful? Toggenbergs are, say hi Noah. Hi. Toggenbergs are definitely my favorite and something that I've really wanted to lean like more heavily into. So we officially have three with these two girls and then of course Java that you've seen in the videos. She almost beat on my foot. Mm -hmm. um, we've got three registered Toggenbergs and I'm just, <laughs> I am just so excited about it. Look at them. 
Hi, this is Meg with the Waddles right here. She's more feisty and her udder is, um, her teats are not quite ideal. They're a little bit smaller. And then Twyla does not have Waddles and her um, teats, she's got a bigger udder and teats. Hey girl. Hey. Hi Gracie. Thank you.